Welcome, welcome to the revival hour. I'm a pastor. Be faster. Hallelujah. And I come to fellowship with you. I come to speak to you. Those people who are willing to take the faith to the next level and will understand that it will cause you some haters. It will cause you some backbiters. It will cause you some families to turn their back on you. But guess what? When you suffer with him, you will reign with him. There is a reward awaiting you. Okay, we have a little bit of an internet problem. But what I wanted to do is, I just wanted to cheer. Amen. And we just cover this book from one of the blood of Jesus right now. We cover it under the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to ask you to cheer. 10 hallelujah. Just help us praise God that we are about to flow in the word of the Lord and to encourage and to strengthen the people who, who mean God today. Not by might, not by power, but by His Spirit. Okay, okay let, us, let us turn our Bible. Let us turn our Bible to Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14. Not by mind, God, not by power, by his spirit. Welcome one and all, and, and I'm asking you to come, please share. Welcome, Wayne Dougley. Hello, Wayne. Um, amen. Javon Reed, welcome. Natalie Parkinson, welcome. Samantha, welcome. Amen. Laurie, Lorraine, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. One. Love the power by Thank you, thank you for your hallelujahs. Suset Martel, thank you. Annalie, Lonely, I sing Angela Brown. Welcome. The internet is. We are, we are trying to get some, some power here. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to. Um, to run. Get a bit better sing. Yes, we are trying to get a better sinner. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Welcome again. We are praying and reaching by anything that will stop this flowing of, of the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Anything that will stop the word, we rise up against it. We claim the air right now. We claim, we receive clarity on the net. Jane Simit, welcome. Welcome, Mr. Lawson, welcome. Welcome, Sister Fem Campbell. Welcome. How many of us have been, been rejected, condemned, and put aside because we do nothing but speak the truth. We do nothing but declare the name of Jesus and we have been hate. I, I, want, I want some people to know that some of us, we are hate and we never kill anybody. We, we don't carry a gun, we are not a thief. Hallelujah, we, we are not a rapist. 
a good community person, but because we speak the truth, we have been hit. We have been beheaded, we have been talked about, we have been bring down to nothing because we have done our best in allowing Christ to be exalted. Because we have done our best by declaring the truth. And the Bible said, the truth is to offend, but it's not sin. I'm going to speak about John who was beheaded because he speak the truth. Hallelujah. We, I need the glory of the Lord in my life. I need the, the presence of the Lord in my life. I need the anointing of God in my life. Hallelujah. And because of that, hmm, I have to entertain it present. I have to, I have to let it word live in me. Because the more it word live in me, it, the more I become like him. The more it word reach it live in me, the more I accept the word, the more I accept him by receiving his word in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. Good night, Elder Nadine Pastor. If you're not hearing well, can you please let me know? I want to know if the music is too high. You know, you are out there, let me know what happened. Welcome to our green. I charge every one of you to cheer. Cheer, because somebody needs to run. Hallelujah. Welcome, Tanisha. Welcome, Tanisha Surf. Hallelujah. Cheer. Good night, my daughter. And un 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 honestly, welcome. Amen. We have been brought down to nothing because we preach the word of God. We have been brought down to nothing because we heal somebody. Joseph was sold into Egypt because Joseph got a dream. Hallelujah. Joseph was sold because he got a dream. Not because they have done anything wrong. He was betrayed by his brothers. He had been betrayed and he had been showing the pit because he had done good. Joseph it wasn't with the slotness of his of his brothers. They would have robbed their father, killed the lamb and wrap it up in in and and, and carry it and say wolf the ball, the flock and Joseph wasn't in into that. And he was nearly killed. They were about to kill him and they throw him in the pit till they pull him out. Them same one pull him out and sell him into slavery because he loved the Lord. I wanted to cheer with somebody. We're going to get deep tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My heart shall be like Jesus. Definitely. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Good night. Cooper, good night. Good night. Bless the Lord. We are going into St. Matthew chapter 14. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to read from verse 3. For hell of hail all and John and brought him and put him in the prison. And Herod, for Herod, Herod's sake, it brought up Philip's wife. Herod took his brother's wife. Hallelujah. And John speak against it. Is it not lawful for thee to have your brother's wife? And when he speak against it, say it not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herod sent for him, locked him up and put him into prison. Is it all the work of the enemy is? When you speak for the truth, 
when you speak against sin. When you don't compromise, say, I, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of chairs today. Somebody chime in because people don't love to hear righteousness. People don't receive people that will speak against the things that is contrary to the will of God. I did cover you and understand that you may be able to have a closer relationship with God. And you may all up in Jesus Christ. John declared the truth unto to error and said, No, is it not lawful? Is it not the right thing to take away your brother's wife? Is it not rightful to take away your brother's car? Is it not right to take up nothing that it belonged to your brother? nor your parents, nor anybody. We need to pray to God and allow God to make provision for ourselves. We need to ask God to send us, send the Lord, send me my own wife, send me my own husband, bless me with my own house, bless me with my own land. Don't go around fighting people, walking hobby and people to get their land. Hallelujah. Pray for your own. And when you talk to God, God will give you your own. And when it's yours, it's yours. God, who oh God bless, no man curse. When you allow the Lord to make provision for you and provide for you, no, nobody can curse you. And any, if anybody want to curse me out because I tell him the truth, go ahead. Give it to me. Because if I want to reign with him, I have to suffer with him. If I want to reign with Jesus, I have to get some criticize. The Bible say, if the world love you, that mean you are not of God. Because the world is against the kingdom of God. So everybody won't, everybody won't be able to love us. Everybody won't be able to, to, you know, accept us because of what we are and the principle that we stand for. Hallelujah. Everybody won't be able to invite us to their parties because we're not going to drink with them. Hallelujah. And this is what happened here. Because John speak against Herod, John was beheaded. Hallelujah. The Bible says, even he, he locked up John, they locked up John, and the daughter of Herod danced beautifully. And it attracted the heart of his father, and he said, Oh, listen, I gave you all of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Anything you need. I gave you all of the kingdom. And he asked for John. His mother called him and said, Ask for John because the mother was upset. There were a lot of people who have you up right now, you don't know about it. Yet, because you say something to them that was for their own good, but they have you up for it. You say something to them to protect them, to protect their life of living, to protect their character, to protect their ministry. To protect their name, Janet couldn't welcome. Hallelujah. And they rise up against you. You never know your best friend can be your worst enemy because you tell them the truth. One that you deal to your heart. One that you share it to your heart. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I came to my own. And my own receive him. Gen genuine marching. Christian that read the Bible. And you declare the Bible to them and tell them, this is not right. The very same thing that the Bible says, this is not right. You declare it to them and they have you up and back with you and, and don't want to chat to you. Turn against you. 
and thought to bring up things to accuse you and to bring you down and to destroy your ministry and to destroy who you are and to destroy your character and i'm telling you the enemy is out there is like a rolling lion and he's seeking soul to devour he's seeking people to corrupt he's seeking people to turn against you he's seeking people family to turn against themselves he's seeking relationship to be destroyed i'm telling you the enemy is out there and let me tell you something no kill what you have done no kill what you have done or what you have said. The Bible says, if you have been accepted, hallelujah, if everybody loves you, something is wrong. The world will not love you the way because of the Lord. The world will come against you because you speak the truth. And let me tell you something. When men cannot get you to use you or to scare you or put you where they want to happen to you, they rise up against you. But we are calling for our people who will willing to defend the gospel, who will willing to stand up for the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let, let me tell you now, Aaron. Aaron, you may cut John's head off, but it didn't stop John's purpose. John's purpose was a forerunner of Jesus. John's purpose was to preach the gospel, preparing the people for Jesus. John's mission was accomplished because he was sent to preach the coming of Jesus Christ. And that what John do. So some people believe that they can cut you off. Hallelujah. From your purpose. And cut you off from your mission. And cut you off from your calling. But if you be steadfast and movable. No weapon that form against you shall be able to prosper. It's okay. You cutting off John's head. Because Jesus had ready come. Jesus was already here and the work of John was accomplished. And that's what I'm asking the Lord for. As the Lord, before you take me from this world, allow me to accomplish my purpose. Allow me to do what I would call to do. I just want to give a testimony. I was working on the air, uh, praying for people uh, three times a week and it was getting to tiring that I began to go once a week. I, my God, I get so many five people try to do I'm gonna have things, you know, to try to stop me with this thing, revival hour. Everything come about. They do everything, and I know what I do. I said, okay, forget about it. And today, the Lord have opened a new door. I don't have to. I don't even have to leave my house to speak. I went. It was a radio station that was covering the Cornwall, um, Cornwall side, the western side of Jamaica, from Mantuka Bay, Hanover, St. Elizabeth, and, and, and Westmoreland. But the Lord opened a bigger door. The Lord opened Facebook with live video in. The Lord open YouTube that we can minister and upload and use. And some of you need to go to Apostle Way Fast on YouTube and you can watch because we have placed some of the revival over that you have missed on YouTube. So you can go back there and listen to them and get the power. The Lord opened a bigger door for, for me that I can minister to the world, not only to West Milan, not only to St. Elizabeth, not only to St. James and Hanover. The Lord make a bigger door, a open door. Hallelujah. And, and, and nobody comes right now to take him off the ear. Nobody. Tell me if you take me off the ear now. Hallelujah. I'm here to, I'm prophesying to somebody. When you are standing up for God, no weapon that farm against you shall prosper. I'm here to pray for some people who are working good on your job and somebody is taking bad things about you to make you lose the job. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that no weapon that farm against you shall prosper.
trespass from. Somebody is going forward for you, going in, in about the police and in the community people is saying bad things about you because they want to go on the fort. But the law say no weapon that farm against which are able to prosper. Even what they said, you're still going to be admitted in the fort in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. I am telling you, there are, there are things that the enemy is trying right now to stop you. And I wanted to cheer 10 hallelujah. Amen. And say amen. I receive it. Put your 10 hallelujah and say amen. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy is trying to stop you because you're doing good. The Lord can stand up for your defense. The Lord can stand up as the John will accomplish its work. You have not yet accomplished it. You have a work in the vineyard to do that the labor was of your own. God wanted to work. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 telling, I'm telling those who are also a follower of the revival power. You don't know what you are getting into. You are getting into a ministry that brings breakthrough, deliverance, healing. Amen. A ministry that the Lord has ordained. This, the revival power, not just yesterday. This was before... Facebook, live Facebook and YouTube. It was before that. The, the revival hour was created and was anointed by God. We even have our fourth anniversary of the revival hour. The enemy tried to stop it and they tried to do arm and other things. But praise God, God opened the supernatural door. And I'm telling you, every time you share, you are sharing in the ministry of breakthrough and deliverance and blessing. And to every time you go on YouTube and subscribe, you don't even understand what you're doing. Because let me tell you something, there are people out here who are hungry and thirsting of a true prophet that will not come to deceive you or try to get anything from you, but to empower you and do get your faith to where you can receive from the Lord and to prophesy a word of deliverance on you. I stand right now at the prophet of John not that I will be beheaded because my work is not yet accomplished. My work just begins. It's not that I will be beheaded no, it's not that I will be headed, but it's I'm here to declare, thus said the Lord, at the forerunner of Jesus Christ, I will declare the word of the Lord. And I don't care who going to dance or who going to try to influence anyone to bring me down. I write a standard against it right now. I, I declare that anyone that try to, to bring you down, hallelujah, let it come into agreement. I am agreeing with you for your deliverance. Agree with me for my deliverance. We are coming into agreement that every tongue that rises up against you, that's speaking against you, that's trying to bring you down, that's trying to disgrace you, that's trying to let you lose your job, or trying to do anything that will destroy your character. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord himself will seize that tongue, that tongue, will dumb that mouth from speaking anything that will destroy your character and destroy who you is and your image. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Let come into agreement. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost right now. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost. I know the Spirit is doing something in the spirit realms. Every tongue, every bitter tongue, every bitter heart against you, people who you know in yourself, you do them nothing. And they are speaking against the people who you help. People who you support, people who you pray for, people who you mourn and weep for, people who you take them on your shoulder and you take them to the next level and they're rising up against you trying to destroy your character and trying to destroy who you eat. God himself will dumb them out. And instead of you go down, they will go down. Instead of you being disgraced, they will be disgraced. Hallelujah. I, I come up against every hand that rises up in, in the order of Cain against you. To hit you in your back. Because you have some enemy that you don't know. Rabo Shatta. And they are ready right now to slew you. As soon as they get the chance. But we rise up a standard. We rise against the spirit of Cain right now. That will come up against you. And to destroy you. And to destroy what you are doing. And to destroy your ministry. Destroy your job. Destroy your business. Destroy your marriage. Destroy your home. Destroy your children. Destroy anything that is under your cares. And under your watch. In the name of Jesus. Robo Chata. I, I, I dare you, each and every one of you, to cheer. Shabu Chanda Rabahaya. Cheer. I wanted to put up 10 Alleluia. That other fan of coming in the agreement. 10 Alleluia. And say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. 10 Alleluia. And declare, I receive it in the name of Jesus. And show some love. Thumb up. When you put up the, the, the finger, you are saying, Yes, I'm agreed. If you type, type in, put up some love. 
Hallelujah. But receive this right now. Those who are getting ready to behead you, Shaboko Shatai. Those who are out there are doing everything to influence your friend to turn against you. Those who are influence your boss to turn against you. Hallelujah. Those who are influence your neighbor to rise up against you. Hallelujah. Those who are going to your church, sister, your church, brother God, I'm telling you, some of our enemy are church people. Some of our enemy are family members. Some of our enemy are your friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Community members who you have grown and they have seen your growth and they have seen your blessing. Some begot you. Some but mine you. Some desire what you have. Some of them honor the spirit of Cain. Some honor the spirit of Jezebel. Yes, you have man Jezebel, woman Jezebel. Hallelujah. Rise of Jezebel send a word to the prophet. And the prophet, when I catch you, don't, don't play with me, prophet. I will destroy you. That's what Jezebel say. And the prophet catch it free and run and hide in the cave. Hallelujah. But you shall not run and you shall not hide. You shall not cease your mission. Hallelujah. Because of the enemy. Because of the friend enemy. Because of the backstabber. Because of the beheader. Because of the persecutor and the disgraced person. You shall not. I'm telling you. You are rising up in the power of authority. That when God anoints you and bless you, you look in the enemy face and tell the enemy, listen, you can't do me no harm. If God is for me, who can be against me? Oh, Krabasata. We want to look in the enemy face and say, enemy, you can't get me fire. Hallelujah. Don't chop your, 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 your faith. Peter, Peter look on Jesus and said, Jesus, if you bid me to come. And, and Peter, Jesus said, come Peter, come walk on the water with me. And when Peter began walking on the water, hallelujah, and he thought to look on the billows, he thought to look at the darkness of the water and the railing of the water and the thing that was going on. When Peter thought to look on it, Peter began to get afraid and Peter began to sing. I am here to tell you, be not afraid of Herod. Be not afraid of Herod, because Herod is coming after your life. Herod sweet up the, 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 the wise men and he said, now listen, go and find him. Shaboko chapter. And when you found him, bring me words that I too may come. There were some people, they try, they will come among you because they want to find ways and means to destroy you. They get close to you, they text your phone because they want something for you to say to disgrace you. I'm telling somebody here. It's not everybody you receive and, and your, 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 your Facebook, you accept them as friends. Check out their background. Know who you accept as friends because some people just try to be where you are because they want what you are. Shaboko Shataya Bahaya. You need to know that. And when you stand up, hallelujah, for righteousness, and if you tell your friend one time, Hallelujah. That what he say is wrong and he go against you. Mark that person. Hallelujah. Your friend must help you into righteousness. Your friend must get you prior up. Your friend must get you in fasting. Your friend must get you in communicating with God. Get closer to God. Your friend must not try to pull you away from the presence of the Lord. Your friend must not try to deceive you from getting to the next level. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Your friend will tell you, my brother, you need to stop. My sister, you need to stop. This is not, the word that's coming out of your mouth is not Christ-like. Hallelujah. You say you are, you are evangelist and, 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 and I'm a deacon and you can't tell me, that. listen to me, the, the clothes that I have on, it's not appropriate for a Christian. Hallelujah. You can't say that, oh, where are you going? Did you tell your mommy that you're coming? Did you tell your mama that you coming over here? No, you need to call your mother. You don't, you don't need to encourage people in turning a, 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 against their parents. You have to tell your friend to listen to me more. You can't speak about the mother like this. You can't speak about the father. Because the Bible the children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor your mother that your days may belong upon the land and may be well with you. They don't want the days to belong. Anybody is trying to turn you against your parents, turn you against your pastor, turn you against your bishop, that the Lord call you honor. If God can call you honor that man, and that man can anoint you and make a deacon, that man might be able to nourish you and cherish you into, into deaconess. That man might be able 
deep and now it and cherish you into a deacon but now it and cherish you into an evangelist and you have to grow in the ministry you have to be obedient to those who set over you you have to be steadfast and movable anyone who trying to compromise in you in getting into anything that will cause you a defeat in your spiritual growth rise up a standard against them and say no you're not supposed to speak to me like that allow the word of god to be in your heart how can i know them by the fruit of their lips anyone that is speaking against christ anyone that can, anyone that is going against the word of the lord and the principle of the word hallelujah anyone that tells Listen me now. Get you one, get you man with your husband. They're not a good friend. Let me tell you now seriously. I want to speak English because I want the people to understand me. I speak too much part one now. I am telling you, you need somebody to tell, tell you to be steadfast. You need somebody to say, be faithful to God. You need somebody to say, no man, that's that too time. Oh, that too short. You need somebody to tell you, say, no, listen, no, give up my brother, go back, no, no, quit your job. Because some people come on the job to get you off the job. And any time you leave that job, them gone. Hallelujah. The devil assign them, send them, get them the job, do everything so that they can get you off the job. Because the devil is over the people who are serving Jesus. The devil is over the people who are declaring, repent. For the kingdom of God is, is at hand. The devil is over the people who are on a good moral, who want to live a good standard, who want to hold their head up in Zion, who want to see the church go on. The devil is over those people, those prophets that will tell you, say, listen, this is wrong. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Is there anybody over, where, 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 over man? And then try to influence and try to do things where we walk over and we tie down people. That the people they want. They don't want nobody where we tell them, say, live holy and live right and not and steal and not and no carry news and not backbite. Some of us we want people, our friends, where we be terrible other people's life. We don't need no friend like that. We need friends where we tell us about Jesus. Somebody to tell us to have faith in God. Somebody to tell us to have confidence in, uh, in God. Somebody to tell us to hold your head up, my sister. Somebody to tell us to be faithful and movable. How are the born in the word of truth? You need somebody to tell us to press toward the mark to receive the prize of the higher calling. There is somebody out there is willing to take it to the next level, but you have been ignoring him. But the person that will draw you down in the destruction, that's the person you upset because of the flesh. Because the Bible tells us that uh, um, uh, in the man's heart is desperately wicked. Hallelujah. And sometimes you have to know it too. You have to be careful what you're thinking about. You have to be careful in your imagination. Careful what you think about the next person. Judge not so that you may not judge. Hallelujah. Condemn not so that you may not condemn. Everything what you hear, don't go around and spread it. Because everything was done on two or more testimony. You never did it. To all you speak like it was there. You need to know that you have to see for yourself and hear for, hear for yourself before you bring down another man. Before you disgrace another man. Because many of the time, them say it's two sides to every story and on one side. Hallelujah. And sometimes I had three side because the person said for him side, I had more to it. And the other person said for him side, I had But somebody did it with the truth. We tell you exactly how we go. Hallelujah. So this what happened to John. He was beheaded because he speak out. Hallelujah. He was beheaded because he said, oh, I don't like this. Because some people, they will walk on you and you must not say nothing. They will disgrace you and, and say things to you. Even they do it in joke. They mean it in their heart. But they do it in joke and you must take it. You must take it. You must not say no. No. That's not, so, that not the way you're supposed to be. That's not, that not all you're supposed to speak. Hallelujah. That what happened? John, why did you arrest um, um, Herod? Why do you arrest this man? What wrong did man have done to you? You want this man to compromise you. I am here to tell some people out there. Why do you hate your brother? Why do you hate your sister? Why do you keep carrying down somebody? What you have done to you? I'm here to tell somebody who have been hate on. We have been talked about. You have not done anything. You have not do them anything. You have not put a stumbling block in their way. All you do is to deliver right. All you do is to prosper. All you do is to speak the truth. All you do is to hold your head up high. All you do is to 
to help some of them. How they do it to pray for some of them. How they do it to cover some of them. And the very mouth of feet become uh, an enemy to you and they bite your hand that feed them. Why, Herod, what do John have done to you? Hallelujah. There are people, there are marriage right now have been destroyed because guess what? The wife wants to go his way. Marriage has been destroyed because the husband wants to go his way. Hallelujah. And I, I don't want to be blamed. So I, I get miserable. I, every little thing I get angry over. And, 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 and I don't want to be blamed. I don't want to be blamed. And we, we hold our hands because guess what? We, we don't want it. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. If there is a relationship, a marriage relationship, a covenant relationship, and the person that is not at fault, God going to expect Pose that person. God gonna lift up the person. God gonna bless that person because he's not a part. And God gonna declare you blessed because you know you hold your end of your barking. You know you never say or do anything to destroy your marriage. That person who do everything in his power, try to, 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 to disgrace you and try to do things to make you look bad. God, I'm telling somebody right now, anything that you're going through because of your your, your sports. Hallelujah. And, and, and you're married and, 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 and you, you want to go, but you want the horse and the land and everything to do everything to depress you and to do every little thing. Let me tell you something. Israel was in Egypt not because Egypt, of, of, because they were captured and bring into Egypt. They go into Egypt because of the goodness of Joseph. Can I preach to somebody? Rabo Chat, share it to somebody. I'm here to tell somebody because some of you are going through. We try and be a sin God because God is about to bless you. God is about to deliver you. Hallelujah. We see it in our up, up I say it and I'm going to close. Israel go into Egypt because Joseph has saved Egypt from property. Joseph has saved Egypt from famine. Joseph allowed Egypt to be rich. By making preparation for the same year of famine that was about to come up on the land. The people from all over will have to come and buy food from Egypt. So Egypt, hallelujah, rise up against the very hand that feed them. Chaboko Chayaba Rekundarabahaya. And right now, some of you are going through some stuff. And it's very painful and it, your heart bleed to know that you have done so much for some people and you have been dear for them and you have prayed for them and you have nourished them, you have baptized some of them and you, and you have healed some of them and you have delivered some of them but they rise up against you, hallelujah, because they become blessed now and they become delivered now and they become up there now so they forsake you and put you aside and forget the hand that blessed them and get the hand that pull them out of the pit, hallelujah and get them to where they is today. Hallelujah. And what they do is, Hallelujah, they forsake Israel and the bone of Joseph what we move from Egypt. Rabo Shatala I am telling the people who are depressing the people who got a place in their life. Alabuchete. I said the people who are depressing, hallelujah, the people who God gave, used to give you deliverance. The people who are praying for you, David said, I pray and my prayer will turn in my own bosom. Astanam Raboko Sheteribianda turn against his father John, that the father of the leopard shown and give it to Asalam and Asalam lie with his father Kangamine and defile his father shown in his father bedroom. Hallelujah to God. And when Asalam believed that it's all over, Asalam would hang by his own locks. Rabo Sheke Terebi. I'm telling you, anyone that rise up against you to behead you, to disgrace you, and to destroy your kingdom, or to destroy your calling, or to destroy your final, anyone that rise up against your family, your your marriage or your home, hallelujah. God said to tell you right now, He is rising up against them with, with a hand of vengeance. Hallelujah to God. And anyone that they can put and show you in him, the Lord said, I will 
pull you out, hallelujah, and they themselves can the fall in the pit, hallelujah, that they themselves but make, hallelujah, and that where the Bible say, a clean hands and a poor in heart, they shall see God, I'm here to tell somebody, all you need to do is make sure your uncle hold and keep the salad, make sure you have a clean hands against your brother and your sister, make sure that when they slip up, you can hear to protect them in the spirit of meekness and say, come on my brother, this is not right, this is not supposed to happen, hallelujah to God, and anything will happen afterward, leave it in the hands of Jesus, somebody say, my times are in his hands, my God and wish and dear, shaboko chayamaha, ribiyanguru gushetiribi, because some people believe that all the while the prophet coming the word is going to be a nice word and a sweet word. Let me tell you something. Many times the Lord anoint the prophet to speak against the people. Hallelujah. To speak against them. And come up against the people who have been um, ungrateful. And come up against the people who have been, oh, oh, oh my God, so, so cruel that they will mess you up just to get on the top. They will pull you down. All the grab spirit because they want to be seen and heard. They don't mind bringing you down. They themselves have done the act. But they are pointing out you. Oh, God, I'm here. Somebody say, oh, those who have no sin, first cast a stone. And when Jesus look up, everybody disappear. Oh God, and the woman alone stand up to face when in sin. He stand up and say, yes, I'm a sinner. Hallelujah to God. And I'm here to tell somebody right now that there's one that lift the stone against you and fling at you and they themselves in fault. God going to deal with them. And mother of God got to stop them from flinging the stone. They tried to stone Jesus before. And the Lord escaped them. Harabo Shata. The Lord will escape you. And you know why? Because they crucified him after the world, but it was the time yet. His mission never accomplished. And his work was to be on the cross. Hallelujah. His work was to go on the cross. Oh God, I'm here to tell somebody, your time not up yet. You know, up your business yet, so you have to work some more. So you can't lose the job. In the name of Jesus. Your time not up yet, so cancer can't kill you. Your time not up yet, so ears can't kill you. Oh God, can somebody believe in God right now? I don't care what is happening in your body right now. God said, your time is not up, so I'm going to heal you. Hallelujah. In and all my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It's not your appointed time yet. Hallelujah, because it's not over. Hallelujah. It's not over until it's over. I'm here to tell somebody whatever you're going through, it's not over. Hallelujah. God about to come through for it. Oh God, cry some tears, tears your language. That God understand, but the Lord is to tell some of you who have been depressed by fear, who have been defeated by error. Hallelujah. When Jesus born, all the child over two ears, on two ears, hallelujah, who crucified. The blood of, 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 of Israel was, was, was shed. Hallelujah. Then the rain of crying, weeping, and, and wailing. Oh God Almighty, because guess what? Pharaoh wanted to chone. Hallelujah. And he heard that there's a king on the back. And he was defending the chone. Hallelujah. And those who are killing you, hallelujah, because you come with a mission. Those who are killing you because you're born with the hope. Those who are killing you because you're calling on the name of Jesus. Oh, when men shall revive you and persecute you and say on manner of evil against you falsely, cause it to tell you rejoice and be exceedingly glad. God graded your reward. There is a blessing coming for you. There is a deliverance coming for you. Anything that you are going through right now, would you stand up for righteousness and stand up for the work of God and the duty of God and the mission of God and the enemy fighting against her. I'm telling you, there is big reward is coming. God is going to provide a table before you in the presence of the same enemy. Hallelujah. And the same one that rises up is going to come to you. They are going to submit to you and you same one going to bless them. You same one going to help them. Receive it in the name of Jesus because God sits high and he look low. He know your name. He know where you live. He know your number. He know everything about you. There is nothing that can be hidden from God. Hallelujah. I wanted to put up then hallelujah. And I want to say I receive it in the name of Jesus. God did this for you. And I don't care who is it. Hallelujah. I don't care who is is. I say I don't care I don't, whether you are in authority or not. Whether it's a family member, whether it's, it's, a, it's a community member, whether, whether it's near or far, anybody. Because there are some people, they don't look on Facebook and they don't target who they want to target. 
Hallelujah. They don't understand you. They don't know your calling. They don't know who you is. They just see something upon, upon you. But then feed the it not right. Or they not you know supposed to have it. Or you have one cow. You're not know, supposed to have it because you know you're not know, supposed to have nothing at all. The only them alone must have it. The only them must look good. You must not look good. And they just come and they just talk things and to bring you down and, and you, you work so hard and they now see you work hard. But everything you do, them criticize it and all. I know that you are some people going through something right now. I'm here for you today. I am here for you today that God is about to stop those people who are depressing you. God is about to stop those people, those bad who are not paying you enough money but want to do all manner of things hallelujah they want to work morning even noon and night work to overtime work and not get no overtime pay slave days over because I to tell you your slave days over your beating and whipping and tiling for, for nothing at all is over in the name of Jesus yes I'm talking that yes that husband I'm talking that wife who are doing your best and the husband now preach here to you this husband who are going home and you're every dying you up you carry in and in our preach here too. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Anybody who are going through hell right now, I am not here for nobody. I'm here for everyone who are going through hell. Hallelujah. And you know you're laboring. You know you're tiling. You know you're praying. You know you're trying your best. And you do your best you can. And your friend don't understand. Oh, God Almighty, help me now. Yes, the same friend that didn't tell you all and problem. You know all and secret. And you not tell nobody. But the one thing where you could tell him, he walk on and attack and I tell everybody, you not here yet, but you will hear later. So I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. I know you're the expose them. I gotta the expose them. Gotta the turn them skirt over their head. I make them realize that they see for them so that they are the weeper. I'm here to tell somebody that deliverance will be coming for you who are suffering. Deliverance is coming for who? But somebody who want to bite, take everything for themselves. Yes, that the big sister. Where one host land and everything and for him family alone must live on it for him set up children must take it all land and the land of a family land of everybody and then I want to share and share it I'm here to tell you somebody God about to deliver you I'm even talking even talking the, the president of America hallelujah when I want to let in some people and I know uncle white people alone build America and uncle black people alone build America everybody come and build America but they must put out over they want to put out and I'm taking over they want to take in and rise up again just right now because some of you have your document and your paper I don't know how to get the signing and I'll call in the name of Jesus right now who not getting the document and the, and the paper in the name of Jesus God God is rising up a standard again America hallelujah we have black out the people then we build America God is rising up a standard God is giving back hallelujah everything what the enemy have been taken from you everything where you back yes all those who get this amount of money and for years you get some small amount of money I, I, I release so money right now no, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I say, I release that money in the name of Jesus. Those things that the enemy hide from you, where you don't know about, hallelujah. Those money, yes, yes, those money where the enemy hide from you, where you don't know about because you're not educated enough to know about it. Hallelujah, that you get there is an exposure. God about to expose those things because there is a lot that you have, hallelujah. Where you don't know you have it yet, hallelujah. You're about to receive it, yes, the land where the one alone attend. Pitney and the one better half. I won't sell the land and share up the money, make somebody else it, but the money they are suffer. But the blood of Jesus is against us right now. I'm writing up against all those hypocrisy. Yes, Herod, I'm writing up against you. Yes, Jezebel, I'm writing up against you in the name of Jesus. We will not be afraid of your voice, we will not be afraid of your faces, we will not be afraid of nothing that you do, but anything that God don't plan, God will block it out. Hallelujah! And every unfair thing, God is about to reveal it in the name of Jesus. And he's going to put those things that have been shattered and have been hiding and have been holding back from you right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Hallelujah. Robo Shatter. Mama Bo Shandalabaha. I'm bringing it down. Robo Shetele Bianda. You're getting it back. Everything that is unfair to you. Hey, it was unveiled to John. John never to ever nothing. But he, he, he have not commit, he have not steal anything from anybody. But you locked him up. You whipped him. He have not done you any harm. I understand that Jesus, he come for this. He come to pay the price. He come to pay the price for our sins. 
Hallelujah. But John never do you nothing error. But just you persecute him. Somebody receive this. Put up your ten. Hallelujah. Yes. All those people where you work for. Rabu Shatel and who are you 500, 1000 US dollars? I'm talking to somebody. And because they know you have your paper, they pay you look on nothing, they hang you like a dog, and you know that they want to look a job, but you can't give it up. I rise up against it, you're getting it back. God don't have to use them to pay you back. God can open a better door and a bigger door. Robot shatter. God can open a door that will release blessing. How can some of the people that you invest in God not going to use them to bless you? God is opening another door. God about to use somebody else that you do just one or two things for, and they come to appreciate you so much, and they come to pour into you. Hallelujah! You come to be blessed. Oh God, you can't be hungry. Oh God, you can't be naked. Oh, He will supply your need. Not only you, but even your own seed of your children who are behaving. God going to use them to bless. You God gonna use them to Rabo God gonna bless them to bless you. Rabo Satanabo, you will not die in poverty in the name of Jesus. You will not die in prophecy, but in poverty, but you will die in wealth, you will die in, in prosperity. The glory of the Lord gonna be upon you, and you're gonna see your days, you're gonna enjoy your days. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I just wanted to put ten hallelujah and Receive it and show them love. How oh, can let the enemy know that his God is for you? Then who can be against you? See, I'm shining Jesus. I don't care what you want to do. I'm not going to become a murderer of the saints. I'm not going to kill my pastor. I'm not going to kill my brother and sister. And if I see you around, I'm going to tell you around. Because I don't want no more of my brothers and my sister blood on my shoulder. I don't want none of my sisters, short brothers and sisters blood on my shoulder. I don't want nobody to turn back because of me. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell somebody. I'm coming home. Hallelujah. We need to lift up our hands up to him. And we need to claim him. We need to claim Jesus. We need to grab a shelter. We need to claim Jesus right now. Say, Jesus, I claim you. Hallelujah. I claim you. I claim you. And if I claim you, I have to claim his prosperity. I claim Jesus. I claim Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost here. I see somebody coming out. I see somebody coming out. Halabo Shatalaba. I see a documentary taking somebody's hands right now. Yes, there are two persons here. The man married to you and the man run away. He collect your money, run away, and you're trying to find the person. And you can't find the brother, you are now stuck. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for deliverance. I pray for that man who married this woman over in America. And the, man, the woman love him and take care of him until when the paper and the document come in, you are angry and bad because guess what you know? That he debted to you. I pray for him. I pray for that woman right now. I pray for that mourning mother, that weeping mother, that weeping daughter, that weeping son. I pray for that man in the prison right now who have been locked up and have not done anything wrong. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. For with deliverance, I pray, Lord God, that how oh God the true murderer, murderer will show up. Hallelujah. The true thief, yes, the person will take it in. Hallelujah. The true thief will show up. You have been accused of, of, of taking something and you are not guilty. The true thief will show up. Hallelujah. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Yes, Sister Janet. Good, good no? Deliverance, I, I come in agreement with you. Rabo Chata. Yes, that person who are going on a rich craft right now. Because somebody wanted to go. Because they can come in, that they can move in. I rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devil. I pray the God of justice may come in for your refuge in the name of Jesus. The God of justice may come for your refuge. Hallelujah. John 
Your deliverance is here. You will not be beheaded. You will not be defeated. You will not die but live and declare the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. You have never smoked before. But the doctor say you have lung cancer. But you have never smoked before. But your husband smoked. But you never smoked. Your friends smoked. But you never smoked. But now you die those with, with lung cancer. I pray in the name of Jesus. Now the Lord may grant you healing. May justice prevail. You were at the spot. You were in the vehicle. When they find the gun. And now you have been charged. You have been going back and forth to God. I pray in the name of Jesus right now. For your deliverance. I'm speaking not only for the people who are on the ear right now, but I'm speaking for those who are going to chime in on Facebook. I speak for those of people who are going to chime in on YouTube in the next five and ten years. In the name of Jesus, I pray, I call forth for your deliverance. I call forth for your breakthrough. I call forth for your blessing. I come for you. I come to pray with you. I come to defend you. Hallelujah to God. You have been beheaded. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, you have killed. Uh, Edward, you have killed Philip. For his wife. And the Lord did not please. Can I help somebody? No, the Lord did not please for you to so suffer. The Lord did not please for you to live this way unhappy. God wanted to be happy, yes. God wanted to be happy. The Lord did not it please with you. Hallelujah. For you alone taking care of the children and the father were minding picnic. Hallelujah. The Lord is not happy. And the Lord can't send. If that man won't mind that child, the Lord can bless somebody to bless you that you can bless your children. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, mother, you're going to be the father from today. God, you can going to get the blessing that you can take care of your children. You can take care of your grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost right now because there are some out there who are not doing what they are supposed to do and somebody else have to take up their job and instead of they say tongue they disrespect them they hurt them they curse them out they do all manner of things that if they are on the right path but I'm here to tell you something oh God God about the reward that matter that being the father and the mother God about the reward that father that being the mother and the father God about the reward the word that grandmother who were the, were the daughter now the, now the father taking care of them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. There is a reward is coming for the people who have been persecuted. For the people who have been working and tiling. But yet you are not being accepted. You are, you are not appreciated. You have done so many things. But yet they don't see you. Oh God. From them the same mode. The same mommy. It's the same mode. Said you are nobody. I come for you today. Yes. Yes I come for you. Robo Shatalabahaya. My time is over. It's a revival over. Hallelujah to God. And, and I've gone over an hour now. So the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I'm not here to tell somebody, let your word be nene. And yeah, yeah. Don't speak against your, your blessings. Don't speak against people. Don't change your friend become a persecutor of the saints don't change your friend become a persecutor of the church don't change i don't care what churches is hallelujah everybody under their own order you don't go around and criticize people don't let your mode be a criticism mode but learn to bless people even those who curse or bless them they have blessed my enemies Oh God, I want God to bless me enough that I have to feed my enemy. I don't want my enemy to feed me. I want God to bless me that I have to take, feed my enemy with a long spoon. That's all I want. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will come out of Egypt. Rabu Shatalaba. You will come out of Egypt. And you will be coming out with your God. Goal. You will come out with your dignity because you never you were to capture, you never fight a war and been captured and went in a slave. You go in because you were the deliverer to each Egypt. You go in, hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that the Lord may draw you out of Egypt and all the suffering that you are going through. Yes, yes, that same wife. Oh God, yes, yes, yes. Do you love me? Yes, I love you. And you, you go into marriage because you love the person. You weren't trying to get anything from him. You never mind if you know. 
money or anything. You married because you love the person. And then you have been abused. You have been re re rejected. You have been condemned. You have been turned back. The Lord said, I'm joining your house. And I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you with house. I'm going to bless you with land. I'm going to bless you with car. I'm going to bless you with provision. I'm going to lift you up. And the glory of God is going to be on you. And you shall be the head. And at the tail, you shall be above. And at the beneath, you shall be blessed in everything that you do. In word, action, and deed. In your going out and your coming in. And every curse that is on you will be destroyed. Hallelujah. Every mouth that is come up against you, the Lord will come up against them. Anyone that draws a sword against you, the Lord will be your defender. The Lord himself will fight the battle for you. And you shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. Not only shall you shall conquer, but you shall conquer the conqueror in the name of Jesus. You shall be more, even more, 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 more. Two, three, four, five times more blessed than you were before. I'm telling somebody, anybody who lose hallelujah, in sowing in the kingdom who lose in helping somebody oh God, the Lord said, it's not a loss you were just sowing up, hallelujah and the Lord said, it's time, I'm gonna give you what you deserve and more receive it in the name of Jesus the Lord said, when I bless you, I'm gonna bless you with interest, I'm gonna bless you with profit, in the name of Jesus I'm gonna bless you with benefit, in the name of Jesus, receive it, receive it because this is the word of the Lord God, I thank you for every word that delivers. I pray that every word will accomplish what it's sent to do. Oh God, I come in agreement with that one that is crying right now. I know, Jesus, you are bucking up that taste. And to every taste that's cry, there is a portion of reward. To every situation they have been gone through, to every sleepless night, to every sleep at night, to every time of depression and frustration, to every hurt and pain that they have gone through, to every time a friend deny or reject or condemn or hurt. Hallelujah. To every Hallelujah thing that they are going through. I believe God that all these things have been back up. And you're about to reward the people. And the latter days will be greater than the earlier days. Hallelujah. They will be happy. You will be removing them out of depression. You will be removing them out of sickness. Because of the good they have done, you will heal them from cancer. Because of the good they have done, hallelujah, and the seed that they are sowing into other people's lives, you will add on to them to their days more than the 15 years that you have added to the king days. In the name of Jesus, you will be adding on in their life. You will add on a room on their house. You will, you will be having on and on more blessings. God, we thank you right now. We thank you. We thank you. We praise you. And we honor you. And we glorify you. Hallelujah. There is a person with a phone problem. The phone has been taken from you. Don't worry yourself. Hallelujah. The Lord about to bless you for it. Can I just declare? I just little sister Messi right now. Sister Nessa rather. Oh, his son. I've stolen his son car. I pray return in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The prophet, hallelujah, say to Saul, the ox that you cannot find, your father ox Saul, you cannot find an ox. I'm here to tell somebody, whatsoever you have lost, you cannot find it. Today is your day. Today is your day. And I pray and I seal the prayer in the blood of Jesus. I seal the prayer for breakthrough. Rabo Shatta Rabaha. I sealed it prior. It will bring you victory. Share it. And if you just come in, when this is closed, tomorrow or another time when you have the time, watch it over. Share. It, it will be downloaded on YouTube. Go on YouTube. Let it get. And each time you listen to this tape, each time it will speak forth a new realm in your spirit, a new blessing in your spirit. God bless you. God keep you. I love you.